Truth be told, frankly speaking, if I should get this type of hospitality from anybody, I'm telling you the gospel truth. I'm going to lose my home training. I'm telling you. <laughs> Okay, guys, like we all know, Sonia Uche dropped a new update earlier today. Yeah, when she made a live video and she told us that she is going to be up like a new movie is dropping tomorrow on Sonia Uche TV. Though I don't know if it's from Sonia Uche's production, but as we are seeing here, I don't think it's from Sonia Uche's production. I think it's from Uche Nancy's production, but dropping on Sonia Uche's channel on YouTube. So I don't know. Whichever one it is, all we know is that a new movie is dropping tomorrow and it is this movie. Hmm. All right. You need, to, you need to see what really happened in this particular, like in this particular scene. I decided to take a clip. I like this clip because it really, really captivated my attention because when I saw it, I was like, ah, what's going on? Why is Brian like this? like jesus if you don't know brian is in most of his movies you think this is real the way brian speaks to people for real ah he's so full of himself you know like he's so full of himself because he's a i think he's a, he's a, he's a doctor in the movie i like oh my god he was busy coming at this young young man putting on green like he was busy coming at him you know ah, oh my god my dear if this guy is just coming to this house for the first time oh, he's just coming to this house for the first time and this is the first time he's coming here and they are giving him meal they're having dinner i think either dinner or lunch or whatever the case may be but you needed to see the welcome like the hospitality it was really really bad the questioning the the like hey brian really reduced this guy to nothing he was busy reducing him, busy asking him questions that looked so demeaning. Like, oh my God, you need to see what really happened. If I should get this type of hospitality from whoever, even ha, my dear, I'll forget that my mom trained me well. I will forget home training. Eh? And you know now, you know now, you know. Hmm. All right, my darling viewers, don't mind me. I'm only trying to be funny and um, to carry everybody along here. But then again, the truth be told, we already know that certain things are really wrong. Someone coming to your house for the very first time, there's what we there's what there is this thing that these are people used to say that first impression matters. And I love that. That is one thing about me. It's it's usually it like that particular um trend or that particular word, that particular thing that is really, really said, like that people are really saying that first impression matters. It happens to me a lot. If I should come to you or if I should see you for the first time, whatever impression you give to me is going to be the impression I'll carry I'll carry about you for the rest of my life. That is me. That is one thing about me. That's why I don't like people giving me a wrong impression, wrong, wrong first impression. Because before you can change that narrative, it's going to be very difficult for me to believe. That is one thing about me. So they say that first impression really matters. So let's be very careful how we treat people on our, on our like on first meeting. Let's be very careful because it's usually very like it usually carries a person forever. Whatever you do, both negative or positive, the person carries this forever. That's the way, that's that's how it is. All right, let me not disturb you guys or bulk you with a lot of information about this. Watch this clip and hear from your from horse's mouth. Hear what really went on in this particular place and see how Brian was busy, like reducing this guy to nothing. Even after the guy will even give him answer at every of the question, he will come up with another question that would be so demeaning. My dear, watch this video. <laughs> So, tell me, what is it that you do? Oh, um, I'm a designer, a web designer and a technician. Um, it's Michael, by the way. Wonderful. And what company do you work for? Oh, um, I'm a kind of uh, um, solo designer you know, freelance. Do I came up here for on a job offer which they demand to it? Though I'm still considering. So in other words, what you're trying to say is that you're jobless. Oh come on, no 
or just having a conversation between two grown up men, right? Micah? As for me, you already know I am a doctor and a renowned one for that matter. I have a real job. Well, you you made that title pretty obvious the first time we met. Good. And um, to answer your question, I am not jobless. I'm only trying out my first six months with the company to see if I will stay with them or not. You seem to have a good memory. So tell me, do you remember that she is married? Midi. Michael and I were just good friends, okay? Now there's one thing I know Michael for is knowing his boundaries. You don't have to bring that up. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now that we are on the same page, I have good news to share with you all. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Charlene is now the brand ambassador for Fraser Foods. Oh my yeah. goodness. Really? Yes. Yes, babe. Wow, congratulations. Thank you, my love. I got the mail two days ago. I didn't tell you because I wanted it to be a surprise. Congratulations, Miss Charlene. Oh, thank you, cutie. <laughs> I've always knew you to have it inside, Charlie. Congratulations. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Charlie. Did my ears hear right? So you now go around calling married women by their pet names. We did. But I've, I've always called her that. Oh, you've always called her that. Back then when you were snagging her, right? Midday. Say what? What are you doing? So your ego didn't allow you to get over her after you guys broke up, that you had to keep... Oh, no, Midday. Stop. And I'm sure you are okay with the idea. Maybe you guys could lock yourself up in some closets. Like the whore that you are. All sorts of... Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this one. So is this the reason why she broke up with you? Because you're very temperamental. Amazing. Oh. Such a 